Hey there, fellow culinarians. If you're watching this video, it's because it's important. Today, it's all about the baking powder biscuit. Not only are you going to learn the art of making these tasty treats, you're going to understand the science that goes into it. What do you think of when you think of these tasty treats, baking powder biscuits? Red lobster? Cracker barrel, maybe? Or even red lobster? Well, how about those biscuits your mom or grandmother used to make? Well, not only is making a biscuit an art form, there is science to it. Once you understand the science behind making a baking powder biscuit, you're going to be able to make pastry crust, pie dough, and even scones, all kinds of scones, not only scones, but other versions of baking powder biscuits. Now, you're going to be needing to listen for all those culinary science terms, leavener, biscuit method, and cutting in. Let's begin, shall we? First, we need to do is mise en place six basic ingredients. All-purpose flour, and make sure you level off that cup. It's a science. Salt, baking powder, which is a leavener, and we're going to talk about that in just a few minutes. Granulated white sugar butter, and it's got to be cold, and finally, buttermilk. And don't forget to preheat your oven on a standard conventional oven. It needs to be at 425 degrees. And if you're using the convection oven, that blower oven, make sure you keep it at 325 degrees because it cooks quicker and hotter. Before we begin, let's talk about leaveners. Let's talk about what baking powder is going to do to your baking powder biscuits. Leavener in cooking is an item or an ingredient that allows food to rise. Leaveners fall into three categories, physical, organic, and chemical. And baking powder is a chemical leavener. Now it's time for the biscuit method. Step one. Mix all the dry ingredients together along with the flour, the salt, the sugar, the baking powder. Yep, and we're going to speed things up right now because it's a little slow. Step two is called cutting in. It's where we take the cold butter, place it into the dry ingredients, and we're going to cut it in. We're going to coat that butter, and we're going to mush it down, mush it down, make it crumbles. Keep covering those bits and pieces of butter with flour. This is what's going to give us our tenderness and pockets of juicy butter inside the biscuit. When you get done with all that, it should look just like coarse meal. Those are not my hands, by the way. Step three, we're gonna take and add the liquid. In this case, we're gonna use buttermilk today. We're gonna to add the buttermilk to it, and we're gonna to toss it around. I'm gonna use a fork, maybe a little bit with my hands, until it forms a dough. Sometimes you may need to add a little extra liquid. Step number four, take the dough and place it on a lightly floured surface and knead it just a little bit and kind of quickly. Step number five, roll the dough out. Use your hands. Notice I don't use a rolling pin. We want to get that thickness right around a half inch to even a three quarters of an inch for our dough. So use your hands, pat it out till you get to the desired thickness, and then use your biscuit cutter to cut out the biscuits. In this particular batch, you should get about six to seven biscuits. Now take your biscuits and place them on a sheet tray lined with parchment paper. Always take a minute to clean up your area and look like a professional. Please put your name on the parchment paper so that it doesn't get mixed up with all your peers' biscuits. Place your biscuits in a standard oven at 425 for 12 minutes. Or if you're using the convection oven, set it for 7 minutes at 325. And when they're done, they're going to come out of the oven smelling awesome. Your mouth is going to be watering, and they're going to be nice gold and brown. And when you break those bad boys open, they're going to be steamy and they're going to be tender. Now all you need to do is pat with butter and drizzle with some honey and enjoy. 